time to do the first line segment of my 2025 reading journal. Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today that's what we're going to work on. And I've already cut the pages because I wanted to have them carefully measured out. So I will show you how I'm going to do these waterfall pages and I will explain to you um, the measurements I took off the end here in just a second. Oh, by the way, after the video, um, I changed this to say 2025 favorites. I like the way that worked better. Um, and here is how I changed this. So the 2025 stats are now fully updated. I have all my months in. I moved them over. It now says year end at the bottom here with a stack of books. Um, I changed these to have bigger ones. So books read, pages, and rereads, and then the DNFs. And then I added on an angle, library, Libby, and bought. I kind of like the way that works better. I feel like that's a little bit more uh, of what I wanted because I kept forgetting I wanted the rereads in there. So um, yeah, in any case, so that's how I changed it. Let's move this off to the side and let's get started on this today. So you'll see these are cut. Um, the first one I cut at half inch, the second one I cut it one inch off, and the next one I cut it one and a half. I believe that is exactly the way I had it in my other one, um, but this works out nice because it gives you a nice even edge. Um, we're going to be using uh, stickers from Robin. So I have my first lines quote here, and then I have some reading stickers left. I desperately need to restock on these. <laughs> Um, and I have a bookshelf here because I did have an idea for the top page. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So I think I'm going to add this bookshelf because I thought it might make a nice little start. Let's see how long. Oh, this goes pretty long. So. even looks like it all right I'm just gonna cut off this edge here um, so it doesn't go into that little leafy pattern okay that works all right let's grab my first lines script and then I thought I still have one of these little bigger stacks of books here let's see if we can get that to fit as well no I can't all right, so let's see. I gotta move that. Let's bring that down a little. Let's go here with it. This way there's plenty of space. That's good. All right, now let's go ahead and put our stuff on here. This way it sort of looks like it's sitting on the shelf. I kind of like that, that's fun. All right, um, I might pull this edge up and trim it down a little bit because I might do a little bit of washi down that side. Um, Unless I just do washi on the three pages here, because this is fine for this edge, focus on the bright side of life, that's fine if I left it this way, and then just do like maybe little washi accents in the corner, but then just leave the waterfall pages with, yeah, maybe let's try that and see how it looks. Worst case scenario, I can always add washi to those outside pages. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna fold up my book here. If I can get it to... There we go, okay. All right, now, so let's focus, put those off to the side, let's focus on these because I wanna get the washi down on these. All right. Um, I do like this one, but that would put the lines vertically. Maybe I'll put that one on this page. I think what I'll do is I'll alternate it. I'll put this one on one of the middle pages, but I'm still gonna use accents from this. I thought this blue would kind of go pretty with the rest of the book 
stickers. So. And with this, I am gonna fold it over. So. All right, let's cut here. Okay. There we go. All right, let's trim off the ends. See, here's the thing, guys. I love waterfall pages, and I used to think they were so, so difficult, and they're really not. As long as you have a good solid measurement on the edge and you know where you're going with it, it'll be fine. All right, so that's that one. Now I wanna go ahead and do this one. This one I'm probably going to rip um, because it's such a thick, thick washi. So, and I'll probably rip the other one too. That other one's a little bit more narrow, so. Actually, I need it this way. All right, that's that side. Right, so that's done. Okay. And so that's two pages. And I think what I'll do is just kind of do a little ripping along the edge here. looks really good with the the map also because it gives that sort of like almost like aged look so there's that one that's that side and again it still leaves me plenty of room to write so let's now do this side Okay, and that's the second side. So now that's two pages done and we'll decorate these in a minute. Let's get this last page done and then we'll add some washi and decor. Ooh, I didn't fold this one over last time. Okay, oh, that's right, okay. All right, so let's go right about here. And again, I'm probably gonna rip this one too because it's a little thicker. So let's get this cut off first. All right, let's start with this side. There we go. Let's do the other side here. Now, 
tried to go around the decor a little bit uh, on both sides uh, so that you could see most of the decor. Okay, now let's get these back in place here and see how we look. So this is how it's gonna look on the discs. I love it. And I'm okay with this one staying kind of blank. Um, I think at the most, I might just add a little bit of like the blue washi up top, but we'll do that when we get to that page, I guess. Let's go ahead and take a look at this first. So as a whole, this is how the first section's going to look. Um, I think I wanna add a little bit of washi, I think down here and maybe a little bit up here. And um, I'll also add uh, some stickers too. So we're gonna do that as well. So let's... Okay, so on the first section here, let's see, what can we put? Um, Let's put her sitting up here. I like that. And let's put her sitting down here. And I think over here, I still have, oops, let's get this out of the way. I still have a couple little stacks of books. I think I'm gonna put a stack of books next to her. Oops. Because that's a nice little finish to that. So that's gonna be how the first section looks. I like that because I want plenty of space to write. So that works. Now this is the second section, so let's see. And the nice thing is you could still see her down here. Um, let's see. Let's put her up here. Do I want washi on this page? Sure, right? Hang on, let me move some things out of the way here. Okay, hold on. Let's do... Um, let's actually do washi up here and down here. Okay, so let's let's see what, what we have then. All right, so let's put her down here. And let's put her up here. Okay. So again, I'm keeping it very simple, very clean. Um, I want the room to write. So now we'll go back down to here and here. So let's... Okay, so there's those. What girls and stuff do I have left? I want to use the books are good for the soul on that last page, so I'm kind of saving that. Um, the books I have left, or the girls I have left, uh, let's put her down here. Uh, actually, let's put her up here. And let's put her down here. Okay, so that works. So that's that couple of pages now. All right, let's switch, and this is gonna be the last. So I have some book stacks, and I have the other things, so I need to go up top with the washi here, because I wanna stay sort of consistent with that. And then we'll do one down here. But I want this one a little bit bigger. Oh. 
there we go because I want to put this um, books are good for the soul down here I love that and then up here and actually you know what I might have this little girl sitting over here I wonder if I could make that work let's see Oh, I can. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, so books are good for the soul. And then I think up here, I'm literally just going to put this stack of books. Yeah, love it. Okay, so let's get these back on the discs. I want to take a peek at them. I'm so excited for these pages. <laughs> All right, Oop, let's make sure they're all even. Okay, so now this is my first line section. You guys, I love this. So this is nice and open. It gives me a lot of space. I only have decor on the actual waterfall pages themselves uh, as far as like the washi on the edges, but everything else looks really good. So I've got my first lines up here with the book stack. I've got my girl down here with another book stack. I wonder if I can stick one next to her, maybe. Should be. Do I have one that I that will fit? Let's see. We've got the brown one down here. Let's do maybe the blue one over here. Yeah, that works. Okay. So we've got our first lines page, so you can see exactly what it's gonna be. Then we've got our waterfall pages, and it's just a little bit of washi on the edges, and then a little bit of washi and a girl on each page. I love this. This is awesome. Okay, perfect. And then on the last page, this is what I have. Books are good for the soul, but again, the whole entire page is very open. Um, yeah, I like this, guys. There's a little wrinkle in the washi here, but that's okay. Oh, it flattened out. Okay. Yeah, I like it. This works out really well. I'm so excited. All right, guys, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them below. Again, the measurements off the first page here were half inch, one inch, and one and a half inch. Um, this way it you know falls into line perfectly good. Uh, everything is even. So yeah, I will leave all of the um, stuff I used from Robin down below. The washi tapes. Um, are either from Journal Say or um, the washi tapes.